Hey, Scott Lara, president of militaryaffairs.com, your one-stop shop for travel. If you're a member of the military, if you're a veteran like I am, or a family member of a military person, militaryfairs.com. Let's talk about cruising during hurricane season. Now, let's just get a couple things right out of the way. Hurricane season, June to November, uh, and you know, the media has said that the 24 hurricane season is going to be explosive. Uh, it's just going to be horrible, death and destruction. Oh, my goodness. And so we know how the media is. They like to kind of really ramp things up like this, these predictions. And I clearly understand uh, I've been through uh, one or two hurricanes here in North Florida. And you got to feel for those people in New Orleans and, and other places who really get it. I remember uh, Puerto Rico a couple of years ago, but the fact of the matter is, if you were to ask me, Scott, would you cruise during hurricane season? I absolutely would, but I got to give you a couple tips. Number one, be sure to pack your Imodium AD or your Pepto-Bismol because it's going to be very expensive to buy those on the ship. Very expensive. Number two, I would recommend you getting uh, on a larger ship. If you're on a smaller ship, you're going to feel the bumps and the waves and all that stuff more than if you're on like Icon of the Seas or uh, a large like Oasis or one of the bigger ships. Now, last year I was on Virgin Voyages Scarlet Lady, which is not a mega ship by any stretch. And we were hitting, golly, uh, 30, 40 mile an hour winds and 14 foot seas. And we were, were bouncing around a little bit, but it wasn't as bad as like during my Navy days when I was in 50, 60 mile an hour winds and 20 to 30 foot seas, and I was on a very small ship. We only had 130 guys. So cruising during hurricane season, uh, another benefit of it is that the cruise lines have spent a lot of money to have these uh, weather centers to monitor storms and then to tell the captain, hang a left, hang a right, avoid this port, avoid that port, and that's what happened on our Virgin Voyages cruise. We weren't able to go to Nassau or to Key West because of the weather. Now, that's something you need to be mindful of. Don't think, okay, I've saved you know my whole life and I'm going on this one bucket list cruise during hurricane season because there is a possibility you may miss a port of call. You may miss Half Moon K. You may miss Ocean K. You miss, may miss Coco K. And so you're going to be on the ship. Now, that's why I think it's cool that the ships have become the destination, especially on Icon of the Seas, which my wife and I were on uh, several months ago. It's, you don't even need to get off the ship. It's just everything is there, the entertainment, the fun, the food. Uh, <laughs> I'm tongue-tied. Icon of the Seas was incredible. But cruising during hurricane season, I'd recommend it. But I will tell you this. You're not going to get these tips from the guy at Costco. If you're going to try to save a pennies, uh, save pennies instead of booking through me or through another travel agent, I'm going to go to Costco so I can get a hundred dollar Costco gift card. They're not going to give you these tips. You're going to jump on Facebook groups and ask for the hidden gems, which I just think is kind of not cool to do that. I understand wanting to save money, but travel agents like myself, I mean, I've been to um, Aruba, Bonaire, Curacao, Martinique, St. Bart, St. Kitts, St. Thomas. And travel agents can give you those insider tips, those hidden gems, if you will. Now, if you don't want to cruise during hurricane season, you can go to an all-inclusive resort like, you know, Cancun, or you can go to Jamaica or the Dominican Republic. But again, like, you know, in Cancun, Cancun in June, you're going to have some rain during the day. It's not going to be all day. You're not going to get, get washed out for the most part. But, you know, maybe from one to three in the afternoon, you may have some rain. But then you're still going to, for the most part, going to be able to enjoy your vacation. But there's no reason to be concerned about hurricane season for cruising, all-inclusive resorts. Get out there and do it. You'll have a great time. And, of course, hurricane season is June to November. So during those months, you know, kids are out of school. So uh, you're going to have more kids on a cruise ship. Uh, if you go to an all-inclusive resort that's family-friendly like Palladium or even Sandals Beaches, you're going to have kids there. But if you want an all in, uh, an all adult experience, you're going to want Virgin Voyages, which I highly recommend. On a scale of one to ten, it's a fifty. If you want adults only, great value, no specialty restaurants because they're all included, basic beverages, Wi-Fi, very cool. 
but anyway, what I'm trying to say is have a great time during hurricane season. I wouldn't be concerned. Just pack your Modium AD, pack your Pepto-Bismol. You're going to be safe. You're going to have a great time. Just be mindful that, uh, you know, you may have a couple bumps here and there, and you may not be able to visit all the ports you want to go to, but you'll st still have a great time. Scott Lehrer, president of militaryfairs.com. Uh, check us out online. If you have any questions, email me directly, scott at militaryfairs.com.